Hi guys, I'm your average Frank Victor and today we will be looking at a fragrance from the House of Galleria Perfumes which is Ashton's of Jensen's Fragrances and that is Cognac Cafe. So let's get right into it. Special thanks to my good friend Nas for letting me borrow this bottle for the review. The nose behind this is Sydney Lancashire and this is Marcadetta C Unisex Fragrance. This was released the year 2020, available for 100ml, extract the perfume concentration and priced at $205. This came with a tall rectangular black box with gold accent on it. You got the name of the fragrance, the concentration, the house and the size in front which are a bit raised along with the black logo of Galleria Perfumes all around. These are a bit embossed and can be felt in your fingers. You get some interesting facts about Galleria Perfumes at the back and the ingredient information as well as the date of manufactured and date of expiration at the bottom. Opening this box reveals another box inside that has a textured surface and made from a solid cardboard. You got the name of the house and their logo in front as well as on the top. The base is also printed in gold as well to continue the black and gold theme. This slides upward revealing the card with a picture of a glass of cognac accompanied by the coffee beans. This also has their website below. At the back of this has the name of the fragrance, concentration, the perfumer, and the nose breakdown. And finally, we get into the bottle which is seated in the silk cloth with foamy materials underneath. The bottle is a tall but slim colored light brown cylindrical shape made in this frosted glass on top and will transition around near the bottom to a clear one which is a subtle but a nice touch. You can actually feel the texture becoming smoother as you run your fingers through it. Though this is a 100ml bottle, they still made this pretty slim that can easily sit well in your hand. It has a good thick glass base but the weight of it is not overly heavy or light. The cap is made with metal with a plastic interior. This has a really good weight behind it and this doesn't click into place but it is a snug fit and some of this bottle can be picked up from the cap and some don't so be very mindful of this. This has an excellent pressurized optimizer and you can easily control its distribution. And this lets out a straight but a bit wide mist. This opens up sweet with brown sugar and almond along with the coffee which is the most prominent note in the opening. Now the coffee here isn't the black or roasted type but rather it is those creamy or milky one. The overall scent of this is definitely in the gourmand territory and it is very sweet but not your typical youthful sweet found in other fragrances. After an hour, the scent is now creamier because of the sandalwood and it's still sweet as we still have the coffee being the most prominent note here. And you got hints of the cognac in the background but it doesn't come across boozy but rather providing a bit of that spicy amber undertone. In the far dry down, it will develop into this woody dominant scent profile coming from the oak tree and cedar wood with sweetness in the background coming from the vanilla. Performance is great on this, it has a good projection for the first 2 hours and it lasted on my skin for more than 8 hours easily. This also lingers in the air really well, especially if you will be spraying on your clothes, so CRH is definitely not an issue here. Not a very versatile fragrance as this will work best in cold weather environment and the month of fall and winter. Wearing this on a high temperature day may get too cloying because of the sweetness. This is great casually or a polo shirt attire, good for dates and gathering. If you have a sweet tooth or you love your gourmand fragrances, you will definitely find this really easy to pull off. Don't let the name of this pull you back as I find the cognac here plays little role as this is more a coffee, vanilla, brown sugar, and almond type of a scent and can be worn truly by either men or women. With that being said, if you were going to wear this on a bit of a high temperature day, you may want to dial down your spray as this will bother the people around you. If you get a little bit of heat in your body, this will start to project really strongly. Definitely a great gift idea as it has a really well thought out presentation and premium materials are also present in here from the cap, the build of the bottle, and even the sprayer. You just have to be willing to pay that premium price tag. Cognac Cafe may not have a lot of that cognac but this is a solid fragrance overall. Very well blended, pleasing sweet smell, and has a really great performance and presentation. People who are looking for a boozy scent may get confused should they buy this blindly and expecting that the cognac will be the dominant note here. 
The retail price of this is still way too high in my opinion, so I urge you to try it first to see if you like it that much to commit to a full bottle. Please consider pressing the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. This has been your average fraghead, signing off.